again. <laughs> we woke up this morning and uh, we're gonna go off to Agia Ethanina, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's across the island from where we are and because it's a Sunday there's not many buses so we're gonna catch a three o'clock bus. It takes around 40 minutes or so to get there and then we've got two hours <laughs> before the last bus back. <laughs> It only costs something like four euros each and it's nice it's just a nice drive through the mountains on the bus it's just really nice you know free wi-fi as well <laughs> which is handy So weird wandering around on your own in a really unfamiliar place. <laughs> Normally when I come to places I do a lot of research but I haven't here. That's 
All I know is that it's a gorgeous port in the north of Catalonia with a lot of ancient history. And right over there, watch if you see, woo, about there, it's another Greek island called Lefkada, or Lef I think it's Lefkada. It took about two hours from Agostoli and oh, it's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It didn't feel boring, it just felt absolutely gorgeous, really, really lovely. Um, yeah, this is the whole of Catalonia that wasn't devastated completely by the 1953 massive earthquake and it's just beautiful it's just stunning you can see evidence of ancient Greece as you're coming up oh I love it it's so beautiful obviously the blue sea absolutely stunning I didn't bring my swimming stuff and I should have done. See, I was going to come up with my family, but we decided the trip up here would have been too long for the kids and we were going to bring all our swimming stuff. But, um, so I've decided to come alone. So I'm here for a couple of hours on my own today. Just chilling out, going for a wander. Yeah, lovely um, van in the background. I've just come out to a little point here. Maybe I should just turn around here. There. <laughs> we are close to a lot of Greek islands. <laughs> Um, well, the Ionian Islands, anyway. I'm close to mainland Greece as well. Uh, yeah, it's just loads of yachts here. It's hot, it's about 29, 30 degrees. It's just gorgeous, just really, really lovely. So I'm just going to wander around, take it all in. There is a walk-in pathway over here, which I'll show you. There which I'd love to go. I would absolutely love to go there. I'd love to go over there. But I am absolutely terrified of snakes. Absolutely terrified. I can't do it. <laughs> This is so beautiful. It is your traditional Greek village. It is just, oh, it is stunning. It's so, so stunning. It, is, it just reminds me so much of Santorini. And oh, I just love it. It is beautiful. It reminds me of Italy as well. Oh, oh, I'm guessing that I'm on my own. I wish my family could be here to wander around. So I'm just going to go and have a look at an ancient Greek cemetery that they've uncovered so here it is
hotel pack in. We have we've got two rooms in this hotel and we booked to stay in one for the rest of the day because our flight isn't until seven and I think because we're not far from the airport we're getting picked up at about quarter to five. So we want to go swimming, we want to wander around and stuff so it makes sense really to pay extra to keep one of the rooms. And that room is next door with John and the boys. So me and Jazzy have to completely gut our room now. I'm done, Jazzy's just finishing. And it's about sort of two degrees maybe. I'm sweating, just sitting here on the balcony. I'm going to take my camera around with me for the very last day. 